So we're here in the NCI building. Here we have the supercomputer Guardi. It's one of the fastest supercomputers in Australia. It is 83rd in the world. So Guardi's theoretical maximum performance is about 24 petaflops. And that's 24 quadrillion floating point operations per second, so additions or multiplies. It's made up of around 4,000 individual computers, um, but, and they're all connected together with a high-speed network. Each compute node is about 10 to 15 times faster than an average laptop, um, and 4,000 of them, and that's where you get your enormous performance from. There's over 50 petabytes of um, active storage upstairs and another 50 petabytes of offline tape storage. The online storage can be accessed from the supercomputer at close to a terabyte a second. Here we're in the NCI data center where we host um, Guardi, one of Australia's fastest supercomputers. So one of the data center is primarily compute and this end of the data center down here is storage. There's nearly 400 cables in the cable tray, um, so that's about just over 60 kilometers of fiber. So down this end of the room is Guardi, um, our high performance computer. So you might notice that it's quite loud in here. That's because there's a large number of fans in here needed to cool all the systems down. In comparison, a medium to large suburb would probably use about the same amount of power full of houses. Um, now, computers do a lot of calculations without electricity, um, but most of the power just gets rejected as heat. To handle megawatts of heat, you need a lot of water, um, and to move a large amount of water, you need some very big pumps. So these pump uh, probably about 1,000 litres of water per minute. Uh, so this end of the data hall is primarily storage. So these pods here contain our GData or global um, file systems and the scratch file systems for the HPC cluster down the rear. So um, for large backup storage we use tapes because it's magnetic it can store all the data without needing any power and that means that you can have very dense low power long-term storage. So um, when a user makes a request for a file they um, there's a little robot at the end knows which tape that particular file is on and we'll go and retrieve the tape, bring it down to the other end, put it in the tape drive and let it read the file off. Fundamentally, there's not really any difference between your average laptop and a supercomputer. Um, the same, they're both Intel processors, they both run the same instruction set, so you could actually compile a program on your laptop and run it on HPC system. Where the difference lies is in making use of that enormous parallelism that the HPC system presents. So, you know, taking a four-core laptop compared to a 250,000-core HPC system. <laughs>